Hello students. So the topic that we are going to be discussing today is the pros and cons of genetically modified foods. So what is genetically modified food? Genetically modified food is also known as GM food or genetically engineered foods and also bioengineered foods or the foods that are produced from organisms that have had changes that have been introduced into their DNA using methods of genetic engineering. So these are GMOs or genetically modified organisms that can be defined as those organisms that could either be plants, animals or microbes in which the genetic material that is the DNA has been altered. Okay in a way that does not occur naturally by mating or by natural recombination. So this process is done in vitro or in the laboratory. And the food produced from these GM organisms are known as GM foods. So below you can see two examples of GM foods. One is a purple tomato, which is rich in anthocyanin pigment that is an excellent antioxidant conferring this additive functional and important property to the otherwise red tomato. The second example is of the golden rice, which is because of the gene which codes for beta carotene, which increases the nutritive value of this rice. All right. So the genetically modified foods are derived from those organisms whose material, uh, which is the genetic material that is a DNA, has been modified in a way which is not occurring naturally. Okay. So this is not a process of natural selection or natural breeding. This is specifically meant for uh, for actually extracting these genes which confer some advantages and then uh, adding these genes to form a superior breed of plant animal or any foods that we consume this is done through introduction of gene from a different organism and it is a very important part of the modern biotechnology or gene technology which is also known as RDT or recombinant DNA technology and most commonly known as genetic engineering. Now, the currently available genetically modified foods stem mostly from plants, but in the future, the foods derived from genetically modified microbes or the GM animals are likely to be introduced into the market. Most existing genetically modified crops have been developed for improvement of yield and also through other advantages such as resistance to plant diseases and increase in tolerance to herbicides. So the GM foods now also can be used for reduction in food prices because the farmer saves a lot of money annually which he otherwise invests in herbicides, pesticides and insecticides. So and even fertilizers all right. So the GM crops are modified in such a way that the plant is growing with additive nutrient values there is more produce then there is pest resistance herbicide resistance also insecticide resistance and drought resistance so these are the properties which are used extensively via genetic engineering and it improves yields as well as reliability in the future genetic modification could be aimed at alteration of the nutrient content of food reducing the allergenic potentials and improving the efficiency of fruit production system all GM foods are therefore thoroughly assessed before being allowed into the market. And GMO foods can offer advantages as well as disadvantages. So let us discuss one by one. Let's see first, we will talk about the advantages. So the genetically modified foods may offer advantages such as it can be used as you know, to express the gene that protects them from pests and insects. So they are the plants which are genetically modified are insect and pest resistance. For example, the Bacillus thuringiensis gene or the Bt gene is a commonly known example, which is an engineered gene into crops such as corn, cotton and soybeans. And it is, it is isolated from the bacteria known as Bacillus thuringiensis. So this gene produces a toxic, which is very uh, deterrent to the pests and insects and not, not at all harmful to human beings that consume these crops. Therefore, this gives the GMO plants a natural resistance against these insects and are safe also for human consumption. As such, the genetically modified crops don't need to be exposed to harmful pesticides as often. 
okay so this is not only important for economic point in an economic point of view but also it is important because these pests often remain inside the produce and enters our body via biomagnification and this causes severe diseases which is uh, in the long run very harmful to the mankind so in order to avoid the excessive abuse of pesticides and insecticides gmo crops offer excellent solutions other gmo crops have been modified with genes that help them in survival during stressful conditions such as droughts as well as in resistance to diseases such as those such as blights that results in higher yield of farmers so together these factors help lower the cost for the farmers as well as increases the value nutritive value of the foods and therefore allows a greater crop yield and growth even in harsh conditions additionally gene modification as i have said increases nutritive value of foods as i have mentioned the example of beta carotene in rice which is now known as golden rice so this consumption of golden rice is known to prevent blindness in regions where the diet which is present in these deficient regions are deficient in vitamin a and we all know vitamin a has a direct link to blindness so deficiency in vitamin a causes blindness and therefore supplementation of rice which is high in beta carotene or vitamin a will help reverse these effects okay so moreover genetic modification may be used to enhance also the flavor as well as the appearance of foods such as the apples which otherwise get brown on exposure to air become uh, stay remain for a longer time without getting brown so the non browning apple is another example of genetically modified fruit in addition current research suggests that gmo foods are safe for consumption posing no threat for human beings plant genetics also determine how our food tastes okay so not only does it the gm food increase nutritive value and the shelf life as well as resistance to pests and other insects insects sorry the plant genetics determine the flavor and the taste of the food so if the uh, plants uh, are engineered with the genes which improve the taste there's nothing like it and this will also be able to change the way we eat our fruits and vegetables over time okay so uh, in 2014 around 18 million farmers benefited from this genetically modified crops and they used to grow these crops in large areas that is 448 million acres for increase in productivity as well as sustainability and they of course benefited it from it therefore they are still uh, carrying out this practice but now let's talk about certain disadvantages so although the research suggests that gmo foods are extremely safe there could be some concerns the around their long term safety as well as environmental impact so what are the concerns the concern first concern is allergies because there is certain uh, speculations that this gmo foods trigger an allergic reaction because of the presence of the foreign genes therefore people worry that they may harbor genes from these foods and that may trigger certain allergies okay so this is a major concern although allergy concerns are valid they have been no thorough or full proof records of allergic reactions because of gmo consumptions so therefore this speculation has been now terminated also according to the fda researchers who developed the gm foods they run thorough tests and uh, strict uh, procedures to make sure that the allergens are not transferred from one food to another also there is a concern common concern that gm foods may aid progression of certain forms of cancers because the cancers are caused by dna mutations some people feel that eating foods with altered genes may start affecting the inherent human dna but there is no full proof research on this that the gm food consumption only causes cancer so again this speculation has also been terminated now there are other health concerns and environmental concerns which suggests that although gmo crops are convenient for farmers there are certain concerns such as most of these gmo crops are resistant to herbicides such as that of roundup okay and this roundup means that farmers can use this roundup without fear of harming their own crops however when you grow large number of weeds around these resistant crops the resistance starts decreasing okay so the uh, 
herbicide resistant property which is conferred to the gm crops starts decreasing and now the crops are again uh, the crops start becoming herbicide uh, prone or they start getting affected with these herbicides so therefore when roundup is sprayed on the crops to kill resistant weeds they can affect the crop harvest so in a nutshell this is a, a slide or a, the pros and cons have been discussed over here so let us go quickly through the advantages of using gm crops so we have already said that gm crops could help increase crop yields and could reduce global hunger problems okay so people such as the farmers will get out of poverty and there are different beneficial substances in this gm crops that increases nutritive value that also makes the plants resistant to stress to droughts and also to pesticides and insecticides sorry insects and pests so the use of insecticides and pesticides will therefore reduce causing good and healthy food to reach the consumers gmos can help lower food prices and make efficient use of land easy to cultivate and they are uh, easy to use where less labor and uh, machinery also is required also i have said that the taste and the flavor is improved thoroughly by use of this gm crops and in the long run water is saved energy is saved and this becomes an eco friendly process also long shelf life of genetically modified food helps the food industry and saves a lot of money in the transportation process okay and the loss that happens because of spoilage so these are all the advantages let us look at the disadvantages so this genetically modified organisms or genetically modified foods i told you happens in the lab so there is a religious concern about this food and it is known that uh, humans should not play god because god uh, or the breeding that takes place because of selection happens naturally over the period of time where good traits go and uh, the plants are new better varieties of plants are formed so if humans do it in the laboratory they are mimicking the natural phenomenon and fastening it of course so humans should not play god as per certain sects also the spread of serious epidemics or pandemics may also occur because of this gm this is one of the belief and the risk of gmos may also be underestimated so there may be safety issues and that too they may alter the natural genome of the plants also stimulate allergic reactions cancers and that too because of the alteration of our own dna make us vulnerable to diseases and there is insufficient objectivity that may be related to the genetically modified foods so again this is not a natural process therefore there is a lot of concern or a lot of hesitation amongst general public and the uh, another belief is that gm crops could be anti lead to antibiotic resistance and the labels on the gm foods are often missing or misleading all right so this is the pros and the cons of genetically modified foods so i hope you have understood this concept and all the best for your exams and your tests